Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum friends in this video I am going to show you how to create this type of shock absorber in SOLIDWORKS so at the end we will also do this motion study for this shock absorber and then we will save it as AVI file in our laptop so keep watching this video till end or if you want to download these files please click on the link in the description of this video before going further let me introduce you to my youtube channel solidworks tutorials and engineering news where you will find huge quantity of videos regarding solidworks and engineering so please don't forget to press subscribe button and this bell icon for all upcoming video notification let's start click on front plane and then select sketch now draw a line and start it from origin one line vertical press escape button now click on this line and make relation horizontal similarly horizontal now define it 10 millimeter is the radius and length is 6 inch press escape button and drag this line now again define the distance for this line which is 30 millimeter and the width of this line is 1 millimeter also the width of this line is 1 millimeter now define the radius for this line Three zero millimeter. Press escape button. Now go to features tab and select revolved both base command and apply this feature. So for access of revolution click this line and press OK button. Now sketch on top plane make normal to and draw two circles define them two zero millimeter and four zero millimeter click on this line and then the circle make their relation tangent now again press and hold control key and select the origin and then this point make their relation horizontal now go to features tab and select extruded both base command drop down these options and select mid plane and the distance is 20 millimeter press ok button So save this file, new folder, show absorber and name this part, part 1. Now control uh, prep. Now press Ctrl plus N key from your keyboard and then double click on part button here. Again sketch on front plane. Now draw a line and at this time do not start it from origin. Start it from here. Now define it ten millimeter is the radius and the length is 
six inch this width is five millimeter press ok button this width is also five millimeter now our sketch is fully defined now we need to draw more lines click on trim entities command here and trim this line press escape button and then define it 1 millimeter and 1 millimeter now define the radius 30 millimeter press escape button and go to features tab and select revolved both base command from here select this line as axis of revolution press ok button now sketch on top plane make normal to and draw two circles now define them to zero millimeter and three zero millimeter this the diameter for this circle is 10 millimeters press escape button now press and hold control key and select this origin and then this point and make their relation horizontal again press and hold control key and select this line then this circle and make their relation tangent go to features tab and select extruded bow space command drop down this menu and select mid plane 20 millimeter is the thickness so press ok button now save this part as part 2 press ctrl plus n key from your keyboard and double click on assembly from here import the part 1 again click on this button insert component and then import the part 2 now click on this cylindrical face and then select mate now click on this cylindrical face of another part we have to reverse the direction of uh, this part so click on this button flip mate alignment press ok button press ok button now as you can see if we move it it does not stops on this point so we have to lock its movement so for that click on mates command here and then scroll down click on advanced mates command and then scroll up from here select distance button now click on this face and then this face type the maximum distance which is 130 and minimum distance is 20 millimeter simply press ok button again press ok button now let's try it it is stopping at this point and also stops at this point now it's time to add spring in it 
So for that click on this arrow below the insert component button and then select new part. Scroll down and drop down this option part 1. Now we have to specify the uh, plane for the new part. So that is why I am dropping down this option part 1. From here we will select front plane as a reference plane to start our new uh, part. So now press Ctrl plus 8 key from your keyboard for normal to and then draw a line and start it from here and make sure that this uh, line is coincident with this point. Now ends it on this point press escape button. Now you can see this line is fully defined because uh, from both sides this line is coincident. Now save and exit from sketch. So now we have to create a profile for the spring. So for that again sketch on front plane. Make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key from your keyboard and then draw a circle at this point. Press escape button. Now define it. The diameter of this circle is 5 millimeter and the distance from this line to the center of circle is 3.5 millimeter. Similarly the distance from this the center of the circle to the uh, to this line is 2.5 millimeter. Now this is fully defined. Press escape button, save and exit from sketch. Now go to features tab and select swept bow space command. Here it will ask you the profile and the path. This circle is our profile for the spring and this line is the path for spring. So select this circle as our profile and then click on this line as the path. Now drop down this option menu then drop down these options and select follow path. Now drop down these options and then select specify twist value. Screen scroll down. Drop down these options for twist control and select revolutions. Here type the quantity of revolutions which are 15. Now press OK button. Now save this new part by clicking on this button. Click on this part and then change its transparency. Now change its colors. After changing the color I will show you how it will work. red color and then yellow color and green color for this part now we have to create one more mate click on this face and select mid then this face press ok button again press ok button now see what happens if I click and then drag this downward press this button rebuild see what's happening the spring is now working press this button Now it's time to make its animation. So for that click on this motion study tab and then drop down this option select animation. Now drag the seek bar to approximately 5 seconds and then drag this part 
to downward. Simply press this button calculate. Now again drag this seat bar to 10 seconds and then drag this part upward. Now again press calculate button. All done. Now you can play your animation. If you want to save this animation, click on this button save animation and from here type the name for the animation that is shock absorber select the expect ratio 16 by 9 it is best for the Facebook or YouTube now press save button again press ok button and press yes it will recalculate the animation and then save it So all done if you want to play the animation go to that folder where you have saved these files here you can find it now you can play it If you like this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Thanks for watching and sparing time.